good and bad Mess around and you've been had Got a key and a nasty switch She's my witch In 1942, a group of 1,200 women from all around the Soviet Union would gather in a small town north of Stalingrad called Angles. These women would soon become the first three all-female combat regiments in the world. All of these women would go down in history as heroes. But today, I want to tell the story of just one of these regiments. Night Bomber Aviation Regiment 588, The Night Witches. To tell this story, I have to rewind two years to 1940 and talk about a woman named Marina Raskova. Known as the Soviet Amelia Earhart, Raskova was renowned for her military service in support and navigation roles, as well as her many long-distance flight records. As she rose through the ranks of the Soviet Army, she began to receive letters from women all over the Soviet Union, urging her to use her station and political sway to help get women into combat roles in the Red Army. At the time, women were allowed to serve in support roles, but these women wanted more. These women had lost brothers, lovers, and fathers. These women wanted revenge. These women wanted to kill Nazis. Raskova was so moved by these letters that she pulled as many strings as she could to personally petition Joseph Stalin to allow women into fighting regiments, and her wish was granted. On October 8, 1941, Stalin ordered the formation of the all-female 122nd Aviation Corps. Within that corps was the 588th Ninth Bomber Regiment. Raskova would later die on January 4, 1943. She was called into an airbase in Stalingrad, but her plane crashed before she could arrive. She was given the first state funeral of the war, including a ceremony in Red Square with full military honors. Her ashes were buried in a wall of the Kremlin, and her eulogy was broadcasted across the Soviet Union. In 1944, the New York Times reported on her death, calling her, quote, a woman of high intelligence and great personal courage, who became a heroine of the Soviet Union in both senses of the word. Her popularity was widespread, and her death is regarded as a great loss to the Soviet Union, to whose women she was held up as an example. She was the greatest woman hero in the air of this war, and the sharpest loss to the Soviets. When the 588 gathered in Angles to train, they were given limited time, limited resources, and maximum expectations. The uniforms did not fit, as they were hand-me-downs from male soldiers. It was said that the women of the 588 pulled apart their beds and packed the stuffing into their boots to make them fit. Worst of all was the plane that these women would be flying. Instead of the latest and greatest war machines, the 588 was given PO2 training planes, not only to train with, but also to fly their official missions. These biplanes were made out of plywood and canvas, and were certified death traps. On top of their shoddy construction, they were not powerful enough to carry anything besides the crew and bombs. Instead of parachutes, guns, heaters, and radars, the 588 brought maps, flashlights, rulers, and stopwatches on their missions, doing all of their navigation in the dark without any instruments to guide their way. It cannot be understated, the hell that these women went through to serve their country. One of the most famous night witches was a woman named Nadia Popova. In an interview after the war, Popova would recall the night she spent in the air. Almost every time we had to sail through a wall of enemy fire. When the wind was strong, it would toss the plane. In winter, when you'd look out to see your target better, you got frostbite. Our feet froze in our boots, but we carried on flying. One night, on a mission, Popova would have her plane peppered with Nazi gunfire. Once she landed, she counted 46 bullet holes on the side of the plane, with more holes in her map and one in her helmet. Realizing the brush with death that she had just had, Popova turned to her navigator and uttered these words. Katya, Milaya, we будем жить долго.
Now, the name Night Witches was not a name given to them by the Red Army, but rather the German Army. The name came from the stealth tactics that they would use in battle. With slow planes that could not fly very high, the 588 would be easy targets for German anti-air guns. The pilots opted to turn their engines off as they approached the target and glide through the darkness. The sound of the wind on their canvas wings supposedly sounded like a broomstick flying through the air, prompting the Germans to give them their very distinctive name. The night witches struck fear into the German hearts, and rumors began to fly about them. Some Germans believed that they had been given special injections that allowed them to see in the dark. They were so feared and hated by the Nazis that any German airman who was able to down one was immediately awarded the Iron Cross Medal, a prestigious honor given to soldiers who displayed bravery and valiant fighting prowess. The last flight of the Night Witches took place on May 4, 1945, where they dropped bombs less than 35 miles from Berlin. By the end of the war, the Night Witches had flown over 20,000 sorties, dropping over 3,000 tons of bombs. The Night Witches would become the most decorated unit in the Soviet Air Force during the war. 23 of the Night Witches were awarded the title Hero of the Soviet Union, two were awarded Hero of the Russian Federation, and one was awarded Hero of Kazakhstan. Despite that, they were never fully accepted by many people in the Soviet military. After World War II was over, the Soviet Union held a Victory Day parade in Moscow. The Night Witches were not included, because their planes were too slow to keep up with the others. These women spat in the face of death every single night for three years, killed more Nazis and won more medals than any other Soviet Air Force regiment, but were dismissed by their fellow soldiers simply because they were women. Less than six months later, the 588th Night Bomber Aviation Regiment was disbanded. A list of commandments was given to the Night Witches by Marina Reskova before she passed away. The first commandment on that list was, Be proud to be a soldier. Be proud to be a woman. They took this to heart. These women climbed to the apex of bravery without ever giving up a single inch of their femininity. Today, the story of the Night Witches is overshadowed by the countless stories of brave men fighting and dying, but these women deserve to have a light cast on them. The Night Witches stand as a symbol of brave femininity that should never be forgotten. Thank you. It took ages to